Okay, so we are looking at step by step by step by step. Do we agree with the steps that Claire took? Do we agree with the steps that Lynn took? I will be going through these. So if it's a little bit challenging, try your best. And we're going to come back together. We're going to go through all of these together. Mr. Main. Yes. Yep. Oh, I already did. Perfect. Thank you. Hey, so we still have about three and a half working minutes. You're going through each of these, each person's steps, and you're deciding do you agree with them? I want you to, if you finished early, I want you to actually go through and tell me. What is the step that happened between one and two? What happened between three and four, or two and three? Three and four, five and six, six and seven. Go through and list out the steps of what happened if you finish early. Okay, we have about two minutes, two minutes working time left. Wonderful, we have about one more working minute. Claire, this is Lynn. So it's the same. Twelve plus three equals three times five x plus zero. Okay, we have about ten more working seconds, and then we're going to come back together. While we're going through, if you would like to flip back to the Zoom. So. The slideshow that we're working on right now is the one that's assigned for today. So it would be not 1020, 1021 to 1020, or no, 1022, 1022 to 1023. 
Um, yes, we are on the task at school slides, Connor. Okay. So it's okay if you're not in those slides, if you're not in the slideshow yet. Um, we're gonna, you can work on it on the packet and then put your answers in there as we go. So if we look at Claire and Lynn, what was this first move that Claire did between step one and step two? Peyton, what, what, what do we do here? She did. So what did so what did she? Oh, so she she come. What is that called? We cu cu Max. Well, well, I kind of I was thinking of a different name for answer. Um, that is what combined is what you were trying to say. Yes. Uh, you going to say uh, you were adding common factors. We're adding common factors together. We're combining like terms, right? So that's what happened here. We combine like terms. We added this 14x and this negative 2x, which combine to a 13 plus three, or I mean, a plus it combines to a 12x. Good. And Lynn did the exact same first step. So I'm gonna put a little arrow because she did the same thing over here. Nice job, Gabe. It's exactly what um, Max said. And so did Peyton, awesome job. So now someone in the chat, if we look at um, what happened now, oh, this is kind of tricky. Um, Claire, her next step, she uh, wrote her step, her next step like this, 3x plus one, or three, three, four X plus one equals, and then on the other side, she was still left with the same variable here, five X plus nine. So what did, what did she do from step two to step three now? Which side of the equation changed here? Nice job, Connor. Um, Payton? The left side changed, right? And she went from saying a 12x plus three. And what did she do? Um, Connor said she reverse distributed. Awesome. So she found a common factor that went into each one of these, the 12 and the three. And the common factor she pulled out was a three. And she reduced it to, she divided each piece by three and she was left with three times four x plus one. Good. And then her next step, she got rid of these threes here. Because if we have a common factor on each side, those cancel out. So we are left with 4x plus 1 equals 5x plus 9. Right? So what did we say was happening in this next step here? Where she went, she went, she got rid of a lot of stuff here. She went 1 is equal to x plus nine. What did she do here between this step, Abby? Um, she, subtracted she subtracted four X from each side. Exactly, Abby, that was really specific. You said we did it to both sides, very good. So we subtracted four X from both sides to be left with one is equal to X plus nine. And the reason we subtract x from both so for, or four x from both sides is because we want to maintain equity, right? And then how did she, what was her last step here? She went to, to negative eight is equal to x. How did she get to that last step? Who can tell me at home? How did we go, go from this, this step up here, step five, to step six down here? What do we think? Maybe. Connor said we we took away nine from what, Brady? We took away nine from each side. Very good, nice job. We took away nine from each side because we wanna isolate or get our X by itself. So we're going to subtract nine, subtract nine. And when we do that, one minus nine gets me negative eight is equal to X. Good, nice job. So then if we look at, now we're gonna look at Lynn's. So do we agree with what Claire did here? Yes, very good. So let's take a look at what Lynn did here. Lynn's was a little bit different. She, for her, her second step to third step was 12X plus 
three is equal to 15 X plus, um, what was it, um, 27. So what was the next, what was the step that she did going from two to three here? How, hers is a little bit different. Ian, what did she do going from this step right here, step number two to step number three? She did just, she distributed, very good. She distributed or multiplied this three times the five X, this three times the nine to simplify to a 15 X plus 27, very good. Now let's take a look at her next step here. She was left with just her 12 X is equal to 15 X plus 24. What did she do to both sides here? Who can, um, Nassim, what did she do? What did she do um, between step three and step four here? What do we think? Let's just give Nassim a, a moment so he can type it out in the chat. One second, Gwen. Okay, Gwen, what, what did he, what, oh, he subtracted three, very good. He subtracted three from the 27, but Gwen, what could we also say here? He subtracted three from both sides because we wanna maintain equity and we wanna get this X by itself on the left side here. So we're going to have to subtract three from both sides, very good. When we do that, my threes cancel out on the left side. I'm left with just my 12 is equal to 15 X plus 24. Then my next step, if I look at it, is negative three X is equal to 24. What did he do here, Cam? Um, he took out 15 from the side. 15 what? 15 X. 15 X from both sides. He subtracted 15 X from both sides minus 15 X minus 15 X to get a negative three X is equal to 24. Now he got that final answer of X is equal to 24. And how, what did he do here, Adam? We're not gonna divide, we wanna keep, we wanna keep the X. So how do we cancel out this, the three, the negative three that's in front of it? because it's multiply by negative three, right? So how do you undo multiplication? Divide by negative three and divide by negative three. So you're dividing by negative three on each side to get X is equal to, I wrote the wrong number, sorry. Eight, nice job, Gabe, nice job, Aiden. Is an answer of X is equal to negative eight. So both of my friends here, Lynn and Claire, got it correct. They took two different paths though. So like I've been talking about in math, we want to be a math, um, we want to be a math detective. We want to look at the possible steps that we can do. So Claire, this step right here, when she when she divided out this common factor here, that's kind of like a pretty tricky thing to do. I wouldn't assume most of you guys would do that. I would assume that you guys would more stick to this path that Lynn followed, but both of them are correct. Both of them have multiple ways that you can solve them. That's the point of this activity is that we have multiple ways that we can solve each equation to isolate and get our X by itself. Does that make sense? Awesome. So if we look at, we're not gonna do, um, are they both correct? Because we just talked about that and we did both say that they were correct. So let's look at the back of the packet where we're now gonna be looking at my and Noah. You're gonna do the same thing for my and Noah, except this time I'm gonna tell you that they have errors in their steps. So we need to find the incorrect step in each solution and explain why it's incorrect. So you're gonna look through Mai's work and Noah's work, and you're going to identify where the error is. There is an error, there is a mistake in each person's work. I want you to take three working minutes right now to look at both of them and decide where are my errors and describe how you know that. Ro, does anybody have questions in here? Abby. 
number? Yeah, the step number. So let me, on my paper, I'm going to number them. So it's obviously just one, two, three, four, five, and six. So between which steps? The step between one and two, the step between two and three, three and four, four or five, five or six. Yes, five or six. So you're going to tell me between which step numbers the mistake is occurring. Okay. Where did she mess up? What did she do that didn't maintain equity? Same thing for Noah and same thing for Mai. So take a look. Mai has one, two, three, four, and five steps. So Mai has one fewer step, or Noah has one fewer step than Mai. So we're taking, let me, let me restart that. We're taking three working minutes right now to look at each one of their steps and decide where did they go wrong. And then we're actually going to come back and we're going to solve this one correctly. So be prepared. If you once you finish, if you finish early, if you want to re-correct, start at the beginning and solve this one out, please feel free to do that. Solve it for X. Okay, we're taking about 46 more working seconds to find the error both in my and Noah's work. And if you finish early, um, solve it for the correct answer. Um, no, just me today. Only, you're only live streaming me today, I believe. Um, okay, thank you for that question. That was a good question, Nassim. I'm pointing to the screen, but I should be pointing at you. Nice job. Um, okay, so there was an error both in Noah's and my work here. Can someone tell me between which two steps did my have an error? So where did she do something wrong here? Between which two steps, Pam? Um, Is between step two and step three. Very good. Oh, let me, yeah, you can see that. You guys can, but they can. Perfect. Awesome job, Eric. Awesome job, Gabe. Perfect. So what was the error that she made? What did she do, Cam? Um, um, she, 
took um, from the skirt from the left side. Mm -hmm. She took out I S. Mm -hmm. um, and she did it on the other side too, but she kept it. And she kept the nine in the parentheses, yeah. right? But we know that because that five X is in the parentheses, we have to either um, divide to get rid of that three in front, or we have to distribute before we can do anything with the five X. Because if we remember PEMDAS in the order of operations, you can't just pull the five X out of there. You have to either, um, if you're looking at the screen, you either have to distribute or divide by the three, which you you could have you could have done both. Both of them worked here, um, but she did it wrong because she did not. Um, she took out a five x before she distributed. Um, so she took out a five x before she distributed. Perfect. Now let's take a look at Noah. Where was the error? Somebody at home, why don't you tell me, where is the error in Noah's work? Between what two steps? Haley said between four and five. So you said between step four and step five. Do we agree? Do you guys agree? What do you think, Peyton? Um, I think Noah messed up when he did from three to four. From three to four? And why do you think that? Because he he just did the left side and he added 15x plus 12x, and then he just left the 27 on the other side and he didn't do anything with it. Okay. Well, so let's take a look at I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull step number two down. 12x plus three is equal to 15x plus 27. So if he wanted to bring the 27x over to the other side, what operation should he really have done here? Nice job, Brady. So Gabe said Noah did step two going to step three wrong because he added 15x to both sides, but 15x wasn't a negative number, so he couldn't add 15x to both sides. Gabe, that's perfect. Because this is already a 15 X here. The way that we cancel it and bring it over to the other side is not by adding it, it's by subtracting it. We need to remember what is the opposite operation here? Subtract 15 X, subtract 15 X. So now let's come together and let's solve the rest of this. What is my left side going to be equal to when I subtract my 15 X here? And What's it going to be equal to? Negative three what? Negative three X. What else is going to be on the left side? Negative three X plus, Abby? Plus three is equal to what's going to be left on the right side. What is it? 27, very good. So I have this equation here. Now, what's my next move going to be? Tyler, what do you think here? We have all our X's on one side. So now we wanna bring our constants to the other side. So what am I gonna do? I wanna bring my, so what, my, I already have my X by itself over here. There's no X's on the right side. So I wanna move this constant to the other side. How do I do that? Opposite operation would be it's already plus three. Subtract three from both sides to maintain equity or balance. What am I gonna be left with here? When? Mm -mm. You're ahead of the game. Stick with us here, please. Negative three X equals 24. Very good. Now what's my next step to get the X isolated to get the X by itself? Peyton. Divide negative three X by 24 on both sides. 
So we're not going to divide by negative 3x. We're going to divide by negative 3. Very good. We want to be very specific. Divide by negative 3 on both sides to maintain equity. And I'm going to be left with a final answer of x is equal to... What's it going to be, Adam? Negative 8. Very good. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we go through, we are going to be expected to be solving and simplifying these equations like we did here. The next piece, which we're going to start today and finish tomorrow, is going to be actually solving each equation for x. So now, independently, that's why you're, you're also going to use your notebook again for this, is we're going to take a look at the next piece here where we're going to solve each equation for x. So there's a slide that has these three equations on it, and they have little lines in between them. I suggest that you use a piece of paper or this packet to help you solve it. I want you to tackle, I want you to start with these three equations. And I want you to use the strategies that we know and um, solve each one of these for X. If you don't know for like number one might be a little bit tricky. If you wanna skip ahead to number two or to number three, please feel free to do that. But I want you to take the last five minutes of class to get started on solving these equations for X. We will be finishing them tomorrow. So my friends at home, we're doing the same thing. I suggest you do it on a piece of paper. Show me all your steps because you're going to need to take a picture of your work and insert it into the next slide in the slideshow. So this work will be, you will be taking pictures of this work and you will be inserting them in there. So please make sure that you are writing these steps out. If you don't know how to do something, throw it in the chat or raise your hand and I can help you out. So I'm going to, while you're working, I'm going to hand out to you a single piece of paper. This is an activity we're going to be doing tomorrow during our live stream as well. We have a slide in the slideshow, but I'm going to give it to you on paper just in case you want to get it on there. Okay, this is for tomorrow. Do you want to for a paper copy? Oh, um, Jaden. Why don't you throw in the chat what your question is, my friend, okay? And I'm right here and I'm, I'm sitting right by the camera so I'll be able to answer you right away. Actually, I'm gonna go around. Okay. What, what did Jaden? I just don't mean, I don't know what you mean when you say what it did. Okay. So I'm going to have everybody pause their work for now. We're going to pause our work for now. Okay. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, the raise your hand thingy. Okay, so we're pausing our work for now. We're going to pick this work up tomorrow. I will be live streaming tomorrow as well. So you guys that are in here now, make sure these packets go home. And we're going to, I want you guys, you really need to join the live stream tomorrow because we're going to finish up this lesson. I'm, I'm going to record it for you guys and I'll be able to post it. But I want you to start to take responsibility because starting next the 29th, we're going to start taking like the attendance policies that are changed based on this. So you're going to need to come to those meetings. My friends that are at home, um, so I don't want you to do anything else on this packet for today. I don't want you to do anything else on this packet for today. What I want you to do is I want you to look at those at home work problems for that were assigned to you for this week for today. So after today, after class today, if you wanna take a look at those at home work problems, um, that would be pretty cool. Um, and please don't do any more work with this. We're gonna come back together tomorrow and we're gonna finish it. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this was successful. I want you guys to, I'm gonna send out to your email today. I'm gonna to send out a little survey to see how you think this went, what I could do better, what you could do better. And um, I'm gonna get some feedback, okay? So I know this was a little bit different in here. I wasn't as 100% focused on you guys, but we were we did very well with it. Awesome job. So my friends at home, awesome job. I'm going to stop sharing. Please make sure that you save all your work. And if you have questions, please send me an email. You guys can head out. Throw things in the chat if you have questions or send me an email if you do have questions. Wonderful.